leave. I can do that. Oh, wait, are we not taking the goods with us? No? Oh dear, I've locked myself in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of assumed we'd have to grab the things, but no. Can you believe the expedition party ran into the captain of the Fatui? <sighs> what a relief that nothing came of it. What's there to be afraid of? The Grand Master is there. One Grand Master should be able to take on at least, like, ten captains. Mm, I don't think so. Wait, forget that. You shouldn't be worrying about the expedition when you've got the Knights of Favonia's charity fundraising booth that you're supposed to be organizing. So, how's it coming along? Uh, actually, I still haven't really decided what to sell. God, you're cutting it a bit fine, don't you think, Bernard? Like, the festival is almost upon it. You, you say us, but this is not my festival, is it? Wizard's usually around Wolvendom, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you think he'll react after hearing about this? I don't know. With that one, I, I honestly could not say. I wouldn't have a clue. Um, I might also do a bit of that. Hey, look! It's a hunting trap. Hmm. It looks like the ones that the hunters from Springvale use. Okay. Huh? What is it? There are traces of electro-energy near the trap. Electro-energy? Hmm... Paimon wonders if it could be Razor. But Paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters. Well, anyway, let's follow the traces of electro and see where they lead. This is the most random way of finding Razor, but okay. Sure, let's do that. Way. Look, there's ah. another trap up ahead. And can you feel that electro energy too? Look, I'm busy following the damn trail, Palm. I'm subtracting me. traces lead deep into Wolvendam. Let's keep going. I'm going as fast as my stamina lets me. Which is to say, not particularly fast. Razor! Are you there? Oh. Has that always been there? Hmm, maybe. Maybe it is. Oh, this way. All right, the last trap has been set. Trap. Razor, thanks for coming with me all this way. It's okay, my legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? <laughs> it smells familiar, friend. From far away. It's me! Razor! Oh, and it's Draft too. Are you two hunting together? I think the better question is, what are you hunting that you were hunting together? Yes, it's almost harvest season. Oh, and the boars yeah. are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Brown Cat catch boars, protect everyone. <laughs> Uncle Brown Cat. Wow, Razor. This is a big step for you. Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> you can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. Aww. But much talking. Very tired now. Aww, isn't he cute? Still, it's a sign of progress. I'm happy for you. Yeah! But, um, actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. You tell me, is that about Varka's letter? Oh. Yeah, he, he sounds real, real keen to know about his family. I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want to know. Uh, so 
you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Ugh, sounds complicated. Mm, Alright, that makes perfect sense, Paimon. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. Why do I need to see your trap? But do I know about traps? I'm not, I'm not about best in traps. What is it? Seems like you have something to say. Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. <laughs> All he said was, oh, and now worried about how he's reacted? We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Good for you, Draft. Here's what I think. Yeah? He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just that his fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. Well, that would happen to nine out of ten people. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt, what? Night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Did we know that Draft was the father of Diana? Okay, let's rephrase the question. Did I know that Draft was the father of Diana? I don't think I've known that before. I, I, I vaguely recall that you have children or a child or something like that, but did I know it was Diona? Surely we have to have found that out at some point in time, I've just forgotten. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Well, I mean, I'd be worried about that too, because that's the, that's the worst case scenario. Exactly. I think that's the heart of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Mm. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Seems like a similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? Guess that rules you out, Pamon. Wait, but then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people and in your own instincts. I don't recall her saying that. Was I supposed to speak to them again before I left the room? <sighs> what do you think? You'll have to face it sooner or later. I'll be there for him as his friend through this. Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on you makes me feel much better about this whole thing. Me. I hate that song. I don't know why I sang it. I don't even like Toy Story. You talk about how you plan to approach a situation. How do I plan to approach a situation? Okay, got it. Right. Can I get Let's the plan? Get we don't want to keep him waiting. Do, do I get to hear about the plan? He's totally not going to be there. Oh, no, he totally is. God, look at venting in the background. Look hey, at freaking massive. Razor. So, what are your thoughts? Still thinking. My heart... Feels strange, like being stabbed by a wolf hook. Now, don't take us the wrong way, but that's actually a good thing. It means that you have some attachment to the situation at hand, whether for good or worse, but you feel something. Feeling is good. It's when you're emotionally detached from the situation that I'd be more concerned. That, what is this Valka appearing right here? This just looks awkward. What do you think of Valka? Valka? Hmm. Tall, very strong. Likes to laugh. <laughs> Funny how could meet him. Then do you trust Varka? Yes, trust. Well, Varka's the one who's given this shit to you, so listen to Varka. He's very good to me. Give me a name. Teach me to fight. But now, busy with important work, I miss him. Well, I assume he'll be back at some point to if he doesn't die on the expedition. You know, Razor, Varka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made Sure, he found room on the back to add a note for Lisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the Traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. Nah, we're gonna abandon you the same way your parents abandoned you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't worry, everything will be fine. That's right. And old Uncle Browncat's here to support you as well. I'm so glad he's on board with this name. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I decide I want to go with you to see teacher. Hence why we didn't take the box. We're going back to the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. 
Well, you folks better be heading off then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. Good night yourself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the uh, fine laser fest starts. <laughs> Bye, Drax. See you again next time. Diona, Diona, Diona. Actually, I have a Diona here somewhere, guys. Right there. That came out of draft. She's bartender. You're a bartender. God, in Australia, you legally have to be like. Actually, I don't even know how old you have to be to serve alcohol. I'm gonna assume you have to be eighteen. Um. <laughs> Trace amounts of non-human blood. From whom? From whom? Da, 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 da. I, I, I guess I need to... Yeah, pfft. Yeah, nah. Uh, when it rains, blah, da, 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 da. About the end. My ears and tail are no prop. They're real. Proof of my cat's line bloodline. Hmm. It's only weird to you because you've never seen it before. Life as a mixologist is very busy. Hmm. When I'm not at the tavern, I'm out collecting ingredients. How, oh, how can I make awful tasting drinks? <sighs> oh, I had high hopes for I enjoy hunting. Okay, she I'm doesn't especially good hunting. at tracking down prey. But Daddy says that the wild is dangerous. One should only go deep into the forest with a reliable adult. She calls draft You're Daddy. A reliable adult, right? Y yeah, it makes me. <laughs> She's she's underage. She's serving alcohol, but she's underage. That is very uncommon. Um, am I reliable? Well, <laughs> usually, usually. About Benty, about to look. Interesting. Oh, really? It's exactly what I was looking for. Guys, tell me what she says. Mm. No, we're good. God, the colors are just, I can't fix the colors. I don't know how to fix the colors. Ah, right. It's all the wrong color. Can't get it right. Damn, I don't know. I feel like I've taken too much contrast out of it now. Ah, oh my god, it's always so bright. Lisa, we brought Razor. Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. <laughs> I'm sorry, just the way he said that was hilarious. Ah, oh, my little wolf cub's in a good mood. I'm assuming they've discussed the whole story with you already? Did you expect me to not give a story? Here, this is it. Oh my god, the thing's box. massive! I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. It's massive! Why has nobody asked what the contents were before now? Jean's had two whole years with the thing in her office. Yes, I am sure. Oh, this is just a pile of junk! It certainly is. I would thought there'd at least be a letter or something. Hmm. Uh-oh. You don't think that, after all this time, Varka might be getting mixed up between different boxes? No, there's a wolfy thing in the corner. There is a scent. A scent? What kind? A scent. I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Aww. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Yeah, and it would be like early childhood if he doesn't remember his parents, but he only remembers their scent. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, well, let's see what other leads we can find. I don't know that that's a compliment to most people, but okay, buy one. Hmm. This woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? How else is it is made? Is this a part from a ruin guard? 
I don't think they have machine factories here for, for, for clothing. I know they've got like toy making machines and shit. But I don't think their clothing is made any other way but handmade. Wait! Hey, look! This wine bottle is still half full! You sure there's no note? And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand. Uh, Thousand Wind Wine. Lisa, does that mean anything to you? Oh, so it's a bottle of Thousand Wind Wine? Well, that's what the label says. Could you please elucidate on the matter? Teacher, you know? Of course. Thousand Wind Wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstadters ever learned to make. Or so they say. Interesting. How old's Razor? Is he legally allowed to consume wine? Ugh, so many questions. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure <coughs> it comes out tasting the same each time. Is it Barbara who had the weird tastes? In drinks? I can't remember now. If so, don't tell Barbara about that. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent tasting products. That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Wind wine in the markets or taverns. It's kind of sad. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. How would you even be able to tell that? It would just look homemade. Literally anybody could have made it. That must mean there's something pretty important about it. Oh, Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. I think it'd be pretty strong to somebody who has a keen sense of smell. Okay. Trying to get high on the fumes, buddy. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Surprisingly, yes. Find anything? Sweet, cold, a little bitter. I like many things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. <sighs> hmm? It's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Have patience. <laughs> Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Wind Wine. But you said that nobody makes it anymore. Surely that lantern on the end of your hat would be heavy and would be, you know, tipping it off your head. I'm sorry, I got distracted. But really... Wouldn't the hat just flop off your head because it's so heavy? Oh, great idea! Will Venti be coming? God, I hope not. Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. Ask many people. I will try. Good on you. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you were with the wolves for draft. Interesting comparison. We'll be there with you, just like we promised. Okay, then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother and human father. Has he been around that many people at one time before? As in, like, a festival of monster? Because that'd be a lot of people. Hmm. Great! See you at the opening ceremony! Wait for the Vineless Fest. Van Lesserfest. Something like that. As Razor's teacher, I'm so happy to see him taking this first step. And you must be tired from running around trying to find Razor. Why don't you rest here a while? I'll make you a nice cup of tea. It sounds so suggestive when it comes out of her mouth. <laughs> it just does. Uh, whoa, light change much? Jesus, I thought it was daytime and now all of a sudden it's nighttime? Wow, whoops, that is not exit. Where's Kali? Not that I want to deal with Kali right now, but you know, nights of Vernius and all that. 
And there was no clee. Oh well. Uh, I'm about to get off. Sorry. <laughs> so, back from PAX early morning. I have a lot of catching up to do recording wise. <gasps> Uh, especially since the episode oh, that I that quickly recorded happen. last night after I got home from the airport to upload so that there was something for this morning of time of recording. Uh, it didn't finish processing, you know, nine hours after I uploaded it and it was still processing because the file size was, was larger. So it gets me a little concerned about all future uploads since the file sizes are now going to be larger. I am very, very, very concerned about uh, not having them uploaded in time for them to take like 12 hours to process before they go live. Like, I don't know if they can really plan everything that far in advance to cater for that. So you're likely gonna come up with a, a lot of episodes in future that are, are not fully processed. So the quality is gonna be pretty shite. And quite frankly, not much I can do about that. You have to take it up with YouTube for being so fucking slow. What are we actually changing the time to? Two days later, oh my. Alrighty. I wish it would skip time faster. Pretty sure I say that every single time, but I wish it would skip time faster. <sighs> I thought Skyrim time changing was time consuming. No, 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 this is worse. Much worse. At least it's got pretty rainbow colors on the clock. That's probably the only thing I can say it has going for it. Okay, now what time specifically do you want me to go to? 8 a.m. Okay. 8 a.m. <sighs> there we go. Okay, where do we specifically have to go? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, where do we specifically do we have to go? Uh, it's got to load. Go to the first venue. Um, where is that? Oh, Springvale. <laughs> I was totally going to go there on foot. Uh, I just noticed there was a quest there. Hold up. There's a quest up here somewhere. I don't know where it was. It was somewhere up there on the map. Um, oh, wow. Balloons. Hi, balloons. I hate balloons. I probably just took damage there. Thank awesome. you, everyone, for your patience. Reza! I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinelesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When wind coming day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. Yep, that's Venti. Let the wind lead! Razor, you're here already! <sighs> so many people. There really aren't that many people, sir. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Who? Oh. Just some tone deaf bard. But he's also a know it all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. Oh, right, we're talking about wine. I was like, why is being an alcoholic relevant in this instance? Right, we need to figure out about the wine. The makeup of the, was it thousand year wine? Okay, I, it's been a week. I remember, I remember. Yo, I hate you. Please tell me what I need to do. It's been a while. Okay. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? A fair question. Uh, I've I've listened to a little bit of uh, Venti's other voice actors, just as a little bit, and it seems like the English voice acting is the only one that irritates me. The other ones are completely fine. There's just something about how he's voice acted here. I'm not saying the voice actor is bad at all. I just mean the direction given to the voice actor for, for the way the character is presented just absolutely infuriate me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. That is surprising for you to say. Anyway, hey Razor, how have you been? All right, I have a question. Did I know that they knew each other? Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. 
Know anything about thousand oh, wind wine? Wind, sorry, not years. A thousand wind wine. Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention thousand wind wine? Ooh, you're showing your age there, sir, which is a little alarming to people who are not me. Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside, and there's a label on it that says thousand wind wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine, and the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called, well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? Sure. A song, not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight, for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. Is it intentional that only the last two lines rhyme? A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining they rhyme. thousand winds in so a song the last of one good rhyme? cheer. Tongue, Tongue and freedom don't rhyme. Sweet, I'm sorry. Better notes <laughs> fade away. As we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine. A little sweet, but now head spinning. <laughs> Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> to be honest, I tuned out because it was venti. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was something about, I don't even remember what it was about, but it sounds like it, it has time. I mean, obviously it's wine, but it needed to go through several seasons for it to, uh, cement. I don't know if that's the right word. God, never mind that I, uh, was a bartender for a year. I cannot recall anything about winemaking. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Uh, it's true of most poetry, I'll be honest with you, Venti. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? Hmm, an explorer's courage, a love tender and true... Yeah, but they're not tangible things. How do you make wine out things that are intangible? Things? Song of good cheer? Nope, Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? Don't even give us a hint, just tell us the hints. <laughs> I don't need hints. I just need to move on. You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. That surprises me. I thought you'd be all in the know on uh, how to create wine. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! But one doesn't just make wine. It's a far more complicated process than that. We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Nope. Oh, oh the pain. I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and find answers. I mean, I don't dis I, I don't agree that this is the way to go about it. You really just need somebody who has a good nose and taste buds, a good palate, to be able to tell you what's in the wine. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. I mean, there are literally people whose jobs it is to test, taste this wine. I'm sure you could find somebody in Mondstadt, the city, of, the, the, the country of, like, wine. Hell, even DeLuke could probably solve the, the, the problem, the mystery. 
Uh, but we live in their actions. Maybe we'll understand what kind of people they were. I don't think uh, remaking a wine that somebody made years ago is really going to do that. But sure, let's go for the poeticism of it. Right. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first-time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Oh, there's a lot of shame, Paimon. A lot of shame. Don't worry, really. Oh, Rosaria. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. Does, does Rosaria like wine? <laughs> as long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. I can promise you that you won't. If the ingredients aren't the correct ingredients, they're not just going to magically change the taste so it's the same as the other wine. You've got to put in the exact same ingredients. That's how things work, Venti, unless you're using alchemy or magic. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So how about we meet again no, in two days? No, don't make me wait two more days. Say same place right here. Uh, okay, I will remember. See you then. And I will hold a grudge. 